What is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last episode we took on Pirate Town's Colosseum, absolutely destroyed that, got Brick Break and some monies. In today's episode we're going to finally go to the ONBS building and meet Net to hand him the data ROM we got from the Cypher Lab a couple episodes back so he can finally decrypt it because he is apparently the only one that can hack it. Welcome to the ONBS building, my name is Meg and I'm the official guide, glad to meet you. The Shroomish is my friend, isn't it cute? Uh, yeah, it's pretty cute, I mean... Mine's better. I mean, mine's still a uh, Shadow Pokemon, I believe. Yeah, I need to purify that. But I need to switch some Pokemon around as well in case we get into battles. I want to have Wally up front, get him to level 20, and Del Cali to start purifying you. Sub little boy? Did you come take a tour of ONBS too? I've been here lots of times. ONBS used to be called the Kids, kids Grid HQ before. Heard it was started by a bunch of kids. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got a portrait of Pikachu, Ludicolo, Groudon, and that is Swampert. Yeah, Swampert is the one there. So explore this building, see what we can find, hopefully get some cool items and stuff. That'd be pretty badass. ONBS was founded by SCC. Um, Net, uh, it's now the biggest information network in the RA region. Nowadays, SECC handles the business side of things and Net acts as the chief of engineering and technology. Oh sorry, maybe that was a little bit complicated. Uh, yeah, that was totally com complicated, knowing all that little bit of information. We're getting news reports from all over like we always do. Our reporters are keeping busy. The hottest news story is going right now is the wild Pokemon story. Oh, the wi wild Pokemon story being that um, some wild Pokemon have started appearing all around the uh, Ore region in certain places. That's why Duking hasn't been seen just yet, because apparently he's been looking for him. Because the Ore region isn't the most suitable place for Pokemon to live in the wild anyway. Wanna give me anything? Razzle and Dazzle are a hot new idol duo from the Gedeon port. They can sing, dance and even perform magic stunts. Them two being the, uh, the duo from the Krabby Club, I assume. Right, what have we got up here? Oh. Hi, welcome to ONBS. The name's SCC. I'm supposed to be in charge here. I'm glad to meet you. Started by kids five years ago during the Shadow Incident, a tiny network has grown to this today. I operate this place with my partner, Net. We've convinced that reporting the unvarnished truth will be for the good of peace and justice. Anyways, do you want something from me? I do. You're kidding. Cypher was using its uh, desert lab again? Okay, understood. You should take that data ROM and show it to Net right away. I'm sure you can decipher whatever information is stored on that data ROM. Yeah, where is he? Some information would be uh, much appreciated. Oray, 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 network. Yak! Did you hear me? Oh no, I'm, it's so embarrassing. That was the ONBS song that I composed. It's catchy and memorable, don't you think? Oray, oray, oray. No, it's, it's, it kind of sucks. I don't like it. Alright, I'm trying to find some chests or something. It's locked. Can't go in there. Hoping to put together a new Pokemon battle program. I'm gathering information for it. I'm trying to decide on the star. Since it's a program about battling, I suppose the legendary trainer Egan would be the logical choice. How about me? I've noticed as well, so far they've had no word about um, the old character, Wes, from Pokemon Coliseum. Okay, so we need to find this little girl's mum as well. Yeah, we've got some more. Go okay, okay, we're going live. Q! We bring you a special news bulletin. Professor Crane, the abducted head of the Pokemon HQ lab, has been safely rescued. Professor Crane has been held captive in Cypher's desert research facility, which was widely believed to have been abandoned. Reports say that Professor Crane was rescued by a, long, a lone teen. This incident is evidence that Cypher has returned after apparently being crushed five years ago. The authorities fear that Cypher's return could result in more serious incidents. Citizens are urged to be vigilant and cautious. That's a wrap. Good job, Anchor. <laughs> she's an, her name's Anchorin. She's a she's a news anchor. I find that hilarious. Might be hard to imagine, but when Anchor was starting out, she was prone to on-air disasters. Now look at her. Yeah, she she's pretty good. Anchor's looking great, like she always does. Sup, Anchor, the Anchor. Hello, Anchor. I'm a newscaster here at 
ONBS. My job is to deliver the news to as many people as possible. When I was starting out, I did experience some close calls, but still, I find this job to be fulfilling. Good for you. And I'm still trying to find this little girl's mummy. I have no idea where she is. Guessing a few floors up. How big is this place? Has he got a gun? Oh, there's a camera. <laughs> I thought it was a gun for a second. Man, is she slow. How long is she going to keep me waiting? Oh, is that Marcia? Could be. The day will be done at this rate. No, but Marcia ran away out of the town, so I doubt it's her. Right, let's start in this uh, little room. You the mum? I know I still have my looks, but when I'm going before the TV camera, I have to be extra careful with my makeup. Dear, can't you see that a lady is getting ready? Please don't come any closer. No, I want that. Just, oh. Okay, fine. I'll get it later when you're gone. Well, this isn't going well. I have to go on the air soon. But my candy hasn't come back. Oh, mummy! Sweetheart! Mummy! Oh, am I glad to see you. I was worried about you. You seem to just disappear. I'm so sorry, mummy. I went out of your way, out of your room just for a minute, but then I couldn't find it again. That guy here, that guy there brought me here. Oh my, how very kind of you. Thank you. Do I get something in return for doing it? Like, I don't know. Potion, Pokeballs, TMs. Soup Bell. Yeah. It's not bad. Uh, we will... I can't even do Shadow Pokemon, can you? I was kind of thinking maybe it can actually uh, bring on the Shadow Gauge, uh, gauge maybe, maybe in this game, but... Nope. I see a crate we can get. Hey, hey! We can't have you wandering around here. It's not safe. Come on, out you go. Damn it. Cannot get these uh, crates just yet. That sucks. What are you doing in here? Keeping information as data is fine, but I also like seeing it kept in printed form on paper. You see, I enjoy the feel of paper as I flip the pages. That's, um... Not weird. I've been told by Net to not allow anyone through. He's working right now. Huh? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab? I still can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Detro, do we have a visitor? Oh, Net. This person here says he's calling from the Pokemon HQ lab. Oh yes, I was expecting him. Please show him through. Yeah. Oh, sure thing. I'll let him through. Damn right you let me through. Now please, Net's waiting for you inside. Damn right you got the way. Alright, let's go see Net. Hello, I've been expecting you. You're Voltsy, right? I'm Net. And this is Bit. He's my friend and an invaluable partner. Pleased to meet you. We heard from Professor Crane, sounds like you pulled off a daring rescue. Eh, it wasn't that hard, to be honest. There's the data on my good man. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings back memories. Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to do to check the contents of this data ROM. Can you wait while I do that? Hey Net, how's this for an idea? Our news team should be out visiting Dukin at one of his uh, poker spots to file a story about wild Pokemon. Since he's got free time, why not have him go visit Dukin as well? Hey, that's good. Good suggestion, Bit. Are you interested in wild Pokemon? Wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Oh yes, I may have your PDA number. I'll contact you as soon as I find anything out. Thank you. I'll try to decipher this as quickly as possible. By the way, Bit, where is our news team? Um, I think they said the rock poker spot. Okay, Volti, go out to the poker spot and wait for me to call. Who knows, you may see some wild Pokemon. Ooh. If we can capture wild Pokemon, that would be really, really awesome. So now we need to head all the way down, but hopefully, maybe, maybe the people are gone. I can get them crates. Ah, oh, damn it, he's still there. Okay, when we come back and get the data ROM, hopefully you're not there anymore. Let's double check, you're still... Oh, you're gone. Got to revive. Sweet. It's just that other crate we can't get just yet. I will get it at some point, though. Oh, just you wait. Just you wait.
Leaving this place is ah oh, really inconvenient. Can't they just have one uh, lift going through all the floors instead of cr another lift across the other side? It's really inconvenient. Hey, don't you think it's too tough for us to pull anything in this town? Our faces are too well known. Yeah, I hear you. If we don't hurry, the boss will get impatient and come looking for us himself. <laughs> We're okay on that score. I want to snuck a transmitter on the boss. Can tell where he is by checking this radar. So, can always be ready for him when he blows his top. I have to hand it to you, Folly. Way to go. Huh? Trudley! Looks like we got an email. Gah, has the boss! Hmm, let's see. You two come back right now, it says. Oh gosh, darn it all. It sounds like he's fuming. He might dock us dinner again. We better scoot back. Tch. Well, so much for this radar. It's not much use if the boss is going to page us by email. Oh man, why do our lives have to be this tragic? A life of crime doesn't pay. Well, it does. But, you know, pretty risky. Alright, so let's go all the way to the poker spot. Find Duking. Rough and rocky poker spot where wild Pokemon appear. Ooh. Hello, people. It's time for <laughs> Puff T's fast break report. Bring you news while it's breaking. Today we're visiting Duking, the discoverer of poker spots where wild Pokemon appear. Oh god, he looks really, really different. Dukin, so is this the poker spot that you discovered? Hello, Dukin here. Yeah, that's absolutely right. For 15 long and torturous years I toiled, snatching sleep only grudgingly to find this poker spot. 15 years? Is that true? Yeah, um, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story. Isn't that right, Betty? It's Pofty. Alright, let me explain how one goes about attracting wild Pokemon to a poker spot. Well, as soon as you're here, wouldn't it be better if I got someone to demonstrate? Oh, you there. Yes, you kid. You'll be perfect. Come here, mate. Alright, wow, this place looks pretty cool. Alright, my friend, let me show how you attract wild Pokemon to a poker spot. First, and above all else, you need these Dukin brand poker snacks. Here, I'll give you some. Alrighty then. Alright, my friend, lay those poker snacks out on the back on, on the plate there. Go on now. So we put a note one. Very good, mate. That's how you do it. When you're laid out the poker snacks, leave the area. Eventually, a wild Pokemon will come along. Just you wait. The more poker snacks you lay out, the longer Pokemon will stay to eat, making it that much easier to catch. This is also important. My specially made spot monitor, this, I'm sure you'll agree, is truly something awesome. My goodness, you developed this device yourself? Yeah, uh, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story, isn't that right, Betty? It's Pofty. By the way, Duking, can you tell us uh, what a spot monitor is? I'm glad you asked me that. My spot monitor is a dandy. It lets you know what's happening at any poker spot, wherever you are. Here, my friend. As my thanks for you hearing me out patiently, I'll gift you. I'll make a gift of this. Slot it into your PDA. That's all you need to do to make it work. Simple. Yeah, you got the spot monitor. Ooh. All right, now you're set. Now, when a wild Pokemon appears at my at any poker spot, your spot monitor will respond and alert you. I found three poker spots in all. The one to the west of this one here. Okay. Use these poker spots and catch yourself some wild Pokemon. Give it a try, mate. Nice. So if I go to the other one, Oasis poker spot, a lush Oasis-like poker spot where wild Pokemon appear. Ooh. And. Oh, it's you. You're the lad who helped us on that news show. Thanks much, mate. Surprised you came out to a place like this. Must mean you're seriously interested in wild Pokemon. That's marvellous. This makes it all worthwhile. My teaching you, I mean. So, you fine, upstanding lad. 
Lover of wild Pokemon, I have some information that you'll find to be special. But my friend, I also have a favour to ask. That's a fair deal, right? Uh, sure it is. Yeah, thank you kindly. You see, there are several Pokemon that hardly ever show up at Pokespots. Trapinch, Sasuke and Looper are having a rotten t time of it, trying to catch those three. If you were to catch them, I'd gladly trade you some of my Pokemon, mate. I'm counting on you, mate. <laughs> I've got to be on my way now. So, Wooper, Sersky, and um, Chapinch. Whoops, mustn't forget. I promised to give you some special information, didn't I? If you go way out to the northeast, there's a Pokespot there that's hard to find since it's inside a cave. That's my favourite Pokespot. You've got to go see it, mate. Well, I guess I should be going on my way. Real pleasure chatting with you again, mate. Be heading back to Pyrate. Uh, Pyrate. Come visit whenever you like, mate. Let's meet again, mate. Adios. Mate. He loves to say meat. Uh, let's just put two. I want to check this uh, spot monitor out as well. Is it supposed to be flashing or something? I have no idea. But I'm going to end this part right here, and next episode, we're going to head to that cave. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.